This was my best find. What is up my lumpias? It's Vanessa and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, it is going to be a uh, compilation, compilation, comply, a group of different thrifting videos and my showing different thrifting hauls. I hope you guys enjoy it and this thrift, I'm actually focusing on purses because honestly, the thrift store, you can find really, really cute clothes, but you can also find really, really cute purses. And I found a whole bunch that I either got for myself or ones that I'm going to resell. Took a couple of trips to find these. I didn't find them all in one trip. And I think these were also different stores as well. So you really have to shop around if you really want to kind of find you might be lucky if you find something rare, but at the same time, it takes a couple of tries and a couple of trips to really find the good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And before we get started, make sure to hit that like video for the YouTube algorithm, as well as hit that subscribe button down below as I post every single Friday. And with that, let's get into the video. Hello everyone, so I just dropped off some packages to be shipped for Poshmark as well as I got Hatches and Dog Food and FYI they had Disney Dog Toys, so I got some of those for him. But now, because the post office is right beside Valley Village, as you can see over here, here it is. I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go check it out because I have the 30% off coupon, maybe I'll find like a brand new purse. I've, I got here like 10 minutes early, so I'm sitting in the car and like literally, I have realized I am literally addicted to thrifting. And I am on the level where people are waiting for Value Village to open. Like, I have not noticed this before, but yeah, people like line up to go in. So I went to Value Village. I got a couple things. I got this Betsy Johnson purse. It's really, really cute actually. The zipper, first of all, is like a heart. Well, it has the bow to match the rest of it. It has the Betsy Johnson on the heart. But then it has this at the end, which is like a little pearl with the glasses. How cute is that? So I could get at least 40 to 50 bucks on it. Like it's in excellent condition. So I got this for 11.50 and because I'm like a member of Valley Village's Super Savers Club, got 30% off my whole purchase. So I think I paid $8 for that bag. I got a Coca-Cola t-shirt. Coca-Cola sells for big, big money. So I got that for $5 and I think I got like, I think I got it for $3. I got this Marvel shirt, which I think was really cool and it's Deadpool. Marvel obviously is like huge. It's a Marvel brand and this was $12.50, so it's a little bit more expensive, but I thought it was really cool. I got a band tee. It's a Guns N' Roses tee, and it is the Guns N' Roses brand. Actual Guns N' Roses stuff goes for like 40 bucks, so I got it for $9.50. This is really cool. So another Marvel brand shirt, and this one I think is even better than the Deadpool one, to be honest, but whatever. It is Marvel, but it has all the characters on it. Like, how cool. Right? And guys, the price was $5.50 for this. Like, I think this one is way better than the Deadpool one. Unless, like, sorry, if there's big Deadpool fans, I apologize. But I just thought it was really, really cool. This, and I'm, like, it didn't hit me because it was like this, right? I'm like, oh, what's that? And then I flipped it over and I'm like, wait, that's a Nike belt. It's a Nike leather belt, $4.99, so $5, plus the 30% off, pretty good condition. I think I could at least sell this for like 30 bucks. I love finding like unique items like that. A Babaton blazer, Babaton, obviously very expensive, but it's just plain black. Um, got that for $12.99, 30% off. I'm hoping to get 50 at least for this. I got a Wilford blazer, it's a really nice brand. I got it for $4.99, guys. I've been dying, dying to find some Lululemons. I see people go to the thrift store and find them and meanwhile me, I'm not finding them. And I had some luck today, guys. So I found three pairs of Lululemons. So each of them were $8.99. So the first one, just plain black. I don't know the style. I'm not good with Lululemon leggings. They go for a good buck, at least like $30, $40. These ones are a little bit longer. Another pair of Lulus. And the last doll I got, 
I think these might be the Align leggings actually, but I really like the print. And the last thing that I got was this Betsy Johnson tote. Like how cute is this guys? Okay, it has these studs and none of them are missing. Hot pink, the back just says Betsy Johnson all over. The inside, very cute as well. All the rows it is, it has some side pockets. It has also an interior pocket with a zipper that works. So I think this was a really, really good find. So I paid 15, well, $14.99 for this. Also 30% off and look at this tag guys. So in total for all the stuff, 84 10 but I got $32 off the total. So I spent $84.10 and that's with tax and everything. The next place that I went to, I went to Goodwill right after. <laughs> so these are cool Han loafers. They're very, very cute. Honestly, if these are my size, I keep them. Like they're very cute. They have like a little bit of a heel, but they're size 10. Not gonna fit me. The shoes I got for $12.99. With the condition of this, I think I can definitely make a profit off it. The next thing that I got, I got a coach. Crossbody! Maybe 45, 50 bucks. Like it's in really, really good condition. I got it for $7.99, guys. That's how much I got the bag for. Does anyone know Oscar de la Renta shoes? Like I've heard that name in movies and stuff like Sex and the City because they're expensive. And I found a pair at Goodwill. <laughs> it is a little bit worn in the leather, but it's still in like excellent, excellent condition. They're a size 38. They have the sizing, they have the tag. I looked it up. They're real, they're real, made in Italy. These were $14.99. Oscar de la Renta shoes go for like $150. I was looking online, I was like, oh, oh. So I don't know what to price them at yet. Comparing to the comps, I'll price it accordingly. This was my best find. I've been dying to try and find a purse that's like a brand name purse. Like I have Coach, I have Betsy Johnson, whatever. I thought I found a Prada bag that one time. It wasn't real Prada. I was very excited. It's not Prada though. But I found a long champ bag. At least I hope I did. <laughs> it looks very real to me. Um, the tags inside, like it has the thing at the bottom, all the buttons, the zipper has a long champ brand. Um, the inside is dirty though. Even on the inside guys, they have this little thing. And guys, it was $9.99. What? <laughs> I'm over the moon. So long champ bags, guys, they can go for a lot of money. A lot of money. But this is a smaller bag. I'm definitely gonna clean the inside, obviously. Baby wipes, all that stuff, clean it up. The outside is not bad. Like, there's a little bit of dirt, but hopefully I can just use a rag and get that off. But guys, I can definitely sell this for at least 150. Oh my God, guys. And in total, in total, I spent $35 for all four things. Hello, everyone. Okay, so I went to Valley Village and could get two purses that were very interesting. One I'm probably gonna keep for myself. I actually spent $15 for both of these in total. So the first purse I got was this Vera Belly Italian crossbody. I think this is the one I might keep for myself. Like, how cute is it? It's like brown and black, it's real leather. The inside opens up like so. Very, very cute, excellent condition. And that was $6.99. Little basic purse, I love that for myself. So I got that. I got this one, and this is actually a coach purse. I don't know if you can tell. I couldn't tell for a second, but when I took this out, it has a style number and everything, and I looked it up, and comps for this are actually between, this is an Audrey purse or whatever. But yeah, so this, the comps for this are like, I think, I need to do more research, but I found one that was on sale for $60. I don't know, I thought it was like different and very cute and it's like a nice bright orange. $11.49. Hello everyone. So yesterday was Sunday and I picked up some free furniture that I'm gonna refinish, but that's gonna be another video for another time because I stopped at Goodwill. I actually went specifically because I'm like, I need to find some purses. I Yesterday was the day. So, this first transaction, I spent $69. Went to the purses and I saw this bag. Guys, this is a coach bag, I know. It looks like the Hermes bag, I know. It's very, very good condition. Okay, yeah, it has a coach emblem here. There's a style number, so it's all there. I got this for $14.99, like a lush, blanket knit. It's so soft, like a velvety knit. 
It's like a crisscross, but it's red. Honestly, I think it, I'm gonna keep this for myself. Like this is like sweater weather worthy. The V is like low, so I have to wear like a tank top underneath it. I don't care. Like this is so cute with like some light blue, like ripped jeans. Fall vibes. Hello, I'm here. The next thing that I got, that I thought this was unique, that's why I got it. This is a Chico's like vest, but look, it's got like the wool, white wool and then suede on the bottom and look at these gold details. Like it has the zippers on the side and the button. This was $9.99. Okay, hear me out because I know this is a match. Okay, but how I'm imagining wearing this is if I'm at the office or something and like I'm wearing just like a plain blouse, I can throw this over, that way it has like that suede sharp vibe. It's very sophisticated looking. Again, I was gonna sell this, but it's really, really cute, so it's mine now. So I got this top next. Like look how cute this is. It's a Paris, I think it's Paris. Yeah, Paris, but look, it's like 3D. Like it has a chain, pom-pom, someone walking their dog, but it has like all these 3D details. It's so soft and it has black going down. The brand is called Zanza Couture. Honestly, I might keep this for myself because this is like a look, like with some jeans. $6.99, like easily at Zara, this would sell for $50. Like. So cute. Um, the only thing is just like the fit is a little bit weird. Like, as you can see, it's like loose here, which I think is meant to be like that. But, I don't know, it's like, maybe you're supposed to wear like a chunky necklace with this, because like here I feel like it just looks weird. Maybe it's because it matches my skin tone too well or something. On the fence, on the fence. And the last clothing item that I got, so these are running room track pants, but they're waterproof in the front, but the back, I don't know if you can tell because of the lighting, you can see the change, and the back feels like more of like a stretchy workout material, and then it has these, so when you're running, behind you it's reflective. Some of running room pants and stuff, like I found one like this, I think it sold for $60. Price I got was $9.99 on it. So the next purse, no, it's not a Birkin, I know, I know. So there's a key as well. When you open it, yeah, you can tell this is not a Hermes bag. I thought this was a really good dupe for the Hermes bag. Really, really cute. I got it for $19.99. It's in perfect condition. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. This is the big one, okay? So, I actually first saw it when I got into my Goodwill. So my Goodwill has a counter and they keep like their more like precious items in the behind them. So they had some really, really good stuff. They had a lot of stuff. And I even told the girl who like sees me all the time, I was just like, you guys got a lot of purses today. And she was like, yeah, and shoes. I looked at the shoes, didn't get anything from there. But I got this bag. So this is a Michael Kors bag. Okay. It has like the strap, really cute, eh? With the studs and everything. Like very similar to like, what is with me and pink bags? Because with studs, like I got that um, Betty Johnson, Betsy Johnson one. Nice big satchel tote. It has a key. Oh my god, it's a Michael Kors key. That's so cute. Okay, so cute. So yes, it was $39.99. This so that I bought that separately because this was like an afterthought when I looked to see sold comps. It sold for $350. But yeah, this is why I'm so addicted to thrifting, especially like for reselling. But it's just the thrill, the thrill furniture on top of it so great day and that concludes my thrifting vlog focusing on the bags and the purses I hope you guys enjoyed it as you can see I found really really cool bags like some of the stuff I found like I couldn't believe they weren't even sold yet because they were in really amazing condition I'm gonna list everything here to show my potential sales and I hope you guys like enjoyed it and I hope it really entertained you as well honestly thrifting gives me such serotonin if it's for myself or even for reselling like I really really enjoy doing it and just finding those treasures it really gives me that serotonin if you like this video make sure to give it a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as I post every single Friday thanks for watching and see you next week bye